Hello guys, it's Elmer again, your fire protection guy. Welcome back to this channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to initiate the fire alarm test on a 2800 fire sense or Honeywell fire system. It's also sometimes called an inertia or notifier 2800. Okay, this is similar to a PC200 of Honeywell. So let's start the testing. This 2800 fire indicating panel, now also they call it a PDCIE or fire detection control indicating equipment, is a sub panel of a main panel. So this is sub panel. So we're going to send a signal from this sub panel to the main fire panel. So let's start your attention please this is a test please disregard all emergency warning this is a test thank you okay after we made the announcement we're going to isolate or all the ancillary and the door holder okay let's zoom in the 2800 fire indicating panel or a pdic so let's start by pressing the service menu and then there are list there one two three we're going to do number uh five the test but before we do number five we're going to isolate all the ancillary first number two so we're pressing two and then you have to isolate the digital output the d4 so number four okay so we scroll down which one we're going to isolate we isolate the relay 7 fire trip latching or the fire relay and latching. So in this particular fire indicating system, so if we isolate the fire trip, which is number 7, by going down, see, down, down, down. Okay, once we isolate that, we will not be tripping the exhaust pan or in the air conditioning right but we rather not to isolate but if you want to isolate you just press this button and then press acknowledge for example let's say isolate and they will ask me to acknowledge so that trip relay is already isolated okay so we rather not isolate that for uh training purposes so let's go up and then de-isolate now it's gone okay let's press again the service menu so we went back so we're going to initiate the test, number five. Number five. And then what do you want to test? We're going to test an alarm with an analog input, number two. And then it's asking you what loop. So it's, this is an addressable system. So let's say loop one, okay? Then detector number. Let's say I'll just say detector two. And then we press enter or that one or this one let's say this one there you go see the, there's an alarm right and there's a fire trip as well at the same time okay so we isolate that noise and then the external bell you can see the strobe outside blinking all right now we're going to the main fire panel and check if the signal is recorded so there we have building tree hole fip let's silence this first so get rid of that noise so we recorded the alarm so what we're going to do next is to reset that alarm in the sub panel let's go back we are now back at the sub indicating panel so we're going to reset that alarm by pressing the reset and then acknowledge so that will clear the alarm but what you have right now is still you have a fire trip activated so you have to press that button to clear the fire trip and enable that and all is back to normal and then after this, we're going back to the file system. But before that, 
we have to make the announcement that everything is back to normal. Your attention please, all testings are now complete, thank you. Our next job is to fill up the log book. Okay, we're going to fill up that book and the path system is normal. We lock it up. Now we are back in the main fire panel again. As you can see, the building tree where we came and reset the panel, in here, it's still on alarm. We're going to use that alarm to test the main fire indicating panel. You have different ways to do it. You can test this one first and then isolate that particular building where you go, which is the sub panel. And then test that sub panel. You can see that that red light will be on while still isolated. There will be no noise here. And then reset it again and then come back. Anyway, your uh, alarm is already recorded in this fire indicating panel but for purposes only so there are different methods this method now i'm still going to use that alarm that i have not reset in the main panel but it's reset in the sub panel to test this main panel we're going to make an announcement your attention please this is a test please disregard Now we're going to set the alarm off. Since this one is different. So that noise is around 45 seconds. Okay, that notification before the pull alarm go off. Okay, the warning system is still in a notification both and then while it is doing that you can no it's already activated right then once you hear that you can isolate that noise the warning system can be isolated and then you can see that the external bell outside we're going to we're going to the external bell outside or the strobe i mean See, the strobe outside is still blinking. So you test that strobe as well. Let's go back to the main panel. Now we're going to reset this. Okay, we're going to reset. This is an F220 Petronix panel. So we're going to reset this one. Reset, and then that's it. Simple as that. Press that button, you're all right. And then put the system to normal. We have an isolation which is an existing isolation prior to my testing those. Okay, all now back to normal. There was a fault on the occupant warning system which was isolated by them, but all they had to do was just reset and everything should be clear. So I reset that occupant warning fault and then de-isolate or enable, and then all is back to normal. So green, light is on the green led everything is normal automatic so all good so we have completed our test so testing this what we did was testing the main fire panel and the sub panel in this video i'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe as a support to this channel